Okay, so this is um, this is an interesting question. Um, do Buddhists believe in science? Um, I, you know, I should probably state in front of every video that we do here, but um, just to say it now, when I talk about what a Buddhist is or what a Buddhist believes, I can only really speak from my background, my understanding of Dharma, my lineage. So I don't. Um, this channel does not speak for all 500 million Buddhists in the world, um, but I am responding to some really core beliefs of what Buddhism came from and being able to understand some of the original intent and where things have been able to move throughout the centuries and generations. One thing that I've always found very interesting of why I have um, you know, devoted my, uh, my life into this practice is for almost exactly this, this question. A non-theistic uh, belief system um, that does not have uh, you know, divine intervention or things that seem supernatural, even the, depending on what school of Buddhism you're from and how you view who the Buddha was, um, you know, my view of these things are very much in the realm of nature and the realm of understanding the universe. Um, not supernatural, not superhuman, not from a divine source. So from a standpoint of just what is the practice and how do we view things like the idea of great, great view of the universe, it's about the natural movement of things. It's about the really natural aspect. Now, science has caught up over the past, you know, 2,600 years since the time the Buddha's around to help reinforce a lot of the things that he was trying to teach, a lot of the aspects of what Buddhism is. I find it very interesting that when you start to look at things um, about particle physics and things that are starting to be um, proven and experimented on now um, can be very much related to things that you read in, in say the Diamond Sutra or some of the original teachings even though Diamond Sutra came you know years and years and years after he was alive. Core concepts of just looking at the movement of energy and the movement of the universe and the natural state of things and being um, aware of the truth of what that means. So, yes, absolutely, science. I feel I'm, I'm very much, maybe as the type of teacher that I am, I'm very, very interested in the latest aspects of what's going on in the scientific community because it does help to reinforce a lot of these concepts. There's been great studies of what meditation can do to your, um, you know, your mental state, the brainwave uh, area that meditation brings, uh, brings you to, what it does physically to your body over a long period of time, of um, having reduced stress and having more focus, all of these things. Understanding when we talk about concepts of rebirth and where energy goes and how it is connected to everything around us. We've had these concepts where we say everything is connected in the universe, we're all part of the same source. And then you go to science, and science can actually prove these facts out, that all of the same makeup of you know, what we're made out of is made up of all of these things. So I absolutely love the connection between those two things. Maybe here's the question that, of why that question comes up often. If science were to prove something within our belief system, if science could prove it to be untrue, how would that affect us? I think that's really the loophole everybody's looking for. I believe that a majority, and again, I don't speak for every Buddhist in the world, but I would, I would um, believe that most, if not all Buddhists in the world, all schools, if science could prove something, they would accept it and they would change. And they would let go of those aspects of what it is. It's a natural aspect to want to not have attachment. We don't have dogma. We don't have all of these, um, you know, set rules of, of what everything has to be until the end time. We don't have a divine intervention source that is the word of whoever it is coming uh, for us. It's very empirical in nature. It's always been very empirical in nature, and so is science. Show me the the proof of what the aspect is. Show me the proof of the life around me, the universe around me, and that's very much what I think science is starting to help reinforce right now. A lot of these core concepts that now, you know, again, we can, we can see and we can prove. It really does help me in my practice and to continue on knowing that science is helping to back up a lot of things that has been part of really our tradition and our lifestyle for centuries and centuries and centuries.